Hey everyone and welcome back. Today we will be talking about how to perform pediatric anamnesis or how to take um, medical history. So anamnesis means taking medical history. How to take a medical history from a child. Uh, basically, you know, the anamnesis is when you engage with the patient, you start to ask questions regarding the patient's history, um, cause of admission, um, the um, treatment that the patient is going on, if it, is it the first time that he's feeling the pain or the uh, complaint that he has, so on and so forth. That would be a bit difficult with a child. For children, it would be... Um, more oriented towards the patient. So the first thing that you need to get, the first piece of information is cause of admission. So you can ask the child if um, they feel pain, if they feel discomfort, but you have to ask the parent, whether it was the mother or the father, about uh, certain and specific information. So that's the first thing that you need to know. The second thing that you need to know is the entire history of the child starting from the point of his or her birth. So you have to know the um, duration of pregnancy. The nature of birth. Was it natural birth? Was it through C-section? Um, you have to know the weight of the child when the child was born and the length of the child. So, length, weight, we have to know also the APGAR score. Very important. You have to ask the mother about this score which is given to her after the delivery of the baby according to its weight, health, status, length, um, reactions, and so on and so forth. So this score is also very important to get from the mother. And then, after that, in the same part here, you're gonna know, according to the age of the kid, after birth, was the kid breast fed or no that's very important that would indicate if they were exposed to the uh, nutritive factors of the breast milk or not and also about diversification So, when did the diversification of food start for the child? Usually it's supposed to be at six months. Some parents do it before, some parents do it after. And that would cause problems in the development of the kid. So that's also a very important thing that you have to know. Another thing is vaccinations. What vaccinations did the kid have? If they were vaccinated according to the um, Ministry of Health's plan so that you would know what vaccinations they got or the parents maybe they would know the specifics and they would tell you. If the kid had any pathologies before the complaint that they are presenting to the hospital um, with so pathologies, infections, 
any details, fevers, flus, all of that, you have to know this if it is there. So that's for this part. So that's the, the child's history, including the normal history, so that's physiological, and that's pathological. You gotta know all of this. Then we go to the next part, which is the family history. The family history. You gotta know how many members of the family are there. Their ages. Their medical history. Are there any underlying causes or factors that might cause a genetic or a hereditary disease or other chronic diseases, for example, cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, so on and so forth, so chronic diseases that might be related to something that the kid is suffering from. So chronic diseases, are they there in the family or not? Also, you have to know the nature uh, of the house where they are living. Now we're talking about quality of life. So, for example, you got to know the nature of the house they're living in. Are they in a rural area or they're in the city? Are they living in a block of apartments? Are they living in a, a house with a garden? Do they have pets? Do they have access to clean water? Are the parents smokers? Do they drink? Are the kids exposed to that? All of this is important for you because it might uh, give you a clue that will direct you in uh, to towards a specific target throughout your anamnesis and you can reach results quicker. So that was a summary of how to take medical history from a kid through the parents. After you do that, you do the clinical exam and we're going to do another separate vi video about that in the future. And um, that was it for today. I hope it was easy for you. Until the next time, I thank you for watching and see you.